Hi, Mystery Recapped here. Today, I'm going to explain a Japanese post-apocalyptic action film called Attack on Titan. Spoilers ahead, watch out, and take care. Over a hundred years ago, gigantic monstrous humanoids called the Titans suddenly appeared on the Earth. They fed on any humans they could get their hands on. Humans were not at the top of the food chain anymore, and soon, their population started to decrease. Even after many civilizations were wiped out, mankind hadn't found a way to fight the Titans. So instead, they settled on limiting their freedom to be safe. The surviving humans built massive concentric walls, taller than the Titans, around an area to prevent invasion. Two circular walls were constructed, one inside the other, to ensure double protection. The outer space was called the Outer District, and the inner was called the Inner District. Inside those walls, they could live a peaceful life. However, the walls didn't guarantee protection, and even after a hundred years, people live in fear of the Titans. The protagonist of the movie is a young man named Aaron Yeager, who lives in the Outer District. He dreams of going beyond the walls someday, to explore the world. He frequently boasts about the seas and oceans of the outer world to his friends, Armin and Mikasa. One day, they decide to go to the border and try climbing the wall to jump to the other side. When they get closer to the border, the group is shocked to see the size of the wall. Armin and Mikasa are skeptical of the idea claiming that the Titans can still be outside, but Eren insists that it has been a hundred years since anybody has seen them, and with no humans to feed on, they have probably died. Their conversation is cut short when the border patrol comes to arrest the group for being too close to the wall. Aaron, infuriated by the police trying to capture his friends, starts fighting them, completely ignoring the fact that he can be executed for this crime. Just then, Captain Suda approaches them and asks the soldiers to back down. He promises to punish the group personally and sends the soldiers away. Suda understands Aaron's desire for freedom but criticizes his actions as childish. He then informs the group of a military approach to explore beyond the walls. He explains that the government has sent some soldiers outside to inspect the situation so that Aaron doesn't have to put his life in danger. All of a sudden, a loud explosion startles everyone. An earthquake follows it, and the ground begins to shake. The group retreats as the wall moves aggressively. Then, a view of a massive titan on the other side is seen. He lets out a loud screech and begins kicking the wall. The patrol officers watch in fear, unable to do anything to stop the creature. The titan finally breaks the wall and disappears into smoke. Everything goes silent for a few seconds. Then, the people see many such creatures enter the city. The soldiers attack the monsters with cannonballs, which do them little to no harm. They seem to have powerful regeneration properties as the wounds caused by the cannons heal at a great speed. Soon, the Titans reach the soldiers and start devouring them one by one. One soldier even commits suicide, claiming that it is better than dying at the hands of the monsters. Everyone starts to run for their lives as the Titans destroy houses and grab as many people as they can. Armin gets lost in the crowd while Eren and Mikasa run towards the town church where people are going to hide. Mikasa notices a little child on the ground, about to be stepped on by the running crowd. She goes to save the child, but gets separated from Aaron in the process. Aaron gets dragged inside the church, but the people close its entrance right after, not letting anyone else get in. Aaron watches his dearest friend from the church's window as she is approached by a female titan with terrifying teeth. Mikasa knows that nothing can save her now, so she just lowers her head, accepting her fate. Just then, a loud explosion sends everyone inside the church backward. When Aaron looks outside again, Mikasa and the Titan are nowhere to be seen. He runs outside, looking for Mikasa, only to come across the ruins of the city that once used to be his home. When Aaron turns around, he sees the monsters ripping the church apart and devouring everyone inside. He wanders into the destroyed city, hopelessly. Cut to two years later, all survivors from the previous Titan attack have moved to the Inner District. The military is now planning to get the Outer District back. After the horde of refugees moving into the inner district and abandonment of the fertile farmland of the outer one, the scarcity of food starts killing people. If this continues, everyone will eventually die of starvation. Their only option for survival is to take over the outer district and repair the broken wall. 
The director of the military forces is named Kubal. He gives the soldiers a heartfelt speech and calls a girl named Hans on the stage. She is the head expert of the troop's new weapon. Hans demonstrates a new omnidirectional mobility gear that she claims will help them fight the Titans, but she attacks her own people by accident. Then, we see Aaron and Armin in the military crowd. It turns out that both of them survived the attack two years ago and now have joined the military. Aaron wants to avenge the Titans for killing the woman he loved, Mikasa. Captain Suda also survived the attack, but has lost his will to live. He is now a food distributor in the army and an alcoholic. The soldiers plan to invade the outer district at night when the Titans will fall asleep. They want to close the way that the Titan invaded the city so that no new Titans can enter. Then, they can kill the remaining ones and get their district back. Hans asks everyone to move forward slowly and not make any noise as the monsters are sensitive to sound. The entrance to the outside district opens and the army drives out in military vans. As they move forward, the captain abruptly orders them to stop the vehicles, sensing a movement ahead. The soldiers slowly look around, only to find cows roaming in the city. One of them, named Hina, hears a baby crying and decides to investigate it, putting her life in danger. Aaron follows the girl and the two end up inside a destroyed building. The cry becomes clearer as they go further in. Suddenly, a slimy liquid falls onto Hina. The two look up and are terrified to see a massive baby titan eating a human. The baby falls in front of the two and starts to cry. They run away outside in fear. The soldiers start to panic because of the noise, but the captain orders them to keep quiet and not attract any titans. Suddenly, a massive hand emerges out of nowhere and grabs the captain. The titans have awoken, now the soldiers are in great danger. Aaron and Hina run towards the group as a massive monster follows them. They start running back to the vehicles, but Commander Kubal senses the danger and runs away with the vehicle and the weapons. Hans, from inside the vehicle, asks the group to come to an abandoned building nearby. The soldiers run towards the building, but are surrounded by the titans before they can escape. They lose all hope when all of a sudden, a titan killer and captain of the scout regiment, Shikishima, appears. He uses a swinging device to kill the titans mid-air by striking the weak zone behind their neck. Shikishima has a female partner as skilled as him. The killed titans fall to the ground and evaporate. Eren finally gets a glimpse of Shikishima's friend and is beyond surprised to see that she is Mikasa. Mikasa, however, pays no attention to her old friend and looks at Shikishima, smiling at her. The two then go to the building, followed by the soldiers. It turns out that Commander Kubal has appointed Shikishima to help him with the mission. Shikishima saved Mikasa's life that day and even taught her how to fight the Titans. Since then, they have been working as partners, living in a world of Titans. Mikasa has learned the harsh reality of life and doesn't want to associate with people from her old life anymore. Later, one of the soldiers blames Eren for attracting the Titans earlier and putting everyone's life in danger. The two get into a fight but are soon stopped by Mikasa. Shikishima asks Eren his name and showcases his superiority by bringing Eren to have a chat with him in private. Eren tells Shikishima that he wants to learn to kill the Titans and blames the monsters for trapping them. Shikishima laughs at him, claiming that humans trapped themselves, not the Titans. They were too scared to fight and their cowardice brought them where they are. He then provokes Eren by calling him a coward. When Eren denies being one, Shikishima asks him to let go of his fears and fight the Titans for his freedom. Eren then goes looking for Mikasa and finds her playing a broken piano. He tries reuniting with her, but Mikasa seems disinterested in his efforts. She says that she turned into a different person when the baby she was looking after died. Mikasa then reveals a bite mark on her body, showing what the Titan attack had done to her. They are interrupted by Shikishima, who feeds Mikasa an apple with his hand, showing his affection towards her. A heartbroken Eren runs outside and screams in agony. His only love, who he thought he wanted to avenge, is no longer the person she used to be. Just then, Hina approaches Eren and comforts him. The two return inside the building and are talking as another couple beside them makes out. Hina gets emotional, telling Eren about her daughter, who is back in the inner district. She then tries to seduce Eren and forces herself on him, but they are interrupted when a giant eye stares at them through a window. It suddenly drags Hina with its mouth, not giving them much time to think. Eren watches helplessly as his friend is eaten by the monster. Many other titans approach the building. Shikishima, Mikasa, and the other soldiers put on their gear and fight the titans. Shikishima kills most of them, along with Mikasa, but many others are injured because this is their first time fighting. 
The explosives are the only asset that will help them get rid of the Titans in the long run, so Commander Kubal asks everyone to protect them. Meanwhile, the couple who were making out earlier are attacked and the man dies in the encounter. The woman is devastated by her lover's death and vows to avenge him by killing the creature who killed him. Then, we see a person getting into the vehicle with the explosives and driving away. The woman who had just lost her lover plans to sacrifice herself and jumps on the vehicle to light the explosives. She takes over the steering wheel and drives towards the Titan who killed her lover. As she crashes into the Titan, the explosion blows up his legs. However, the attack doesn't work because the Titan's legs grow back quickly. The only way to kill them is to strike their weak spot. Eren is still on top of the building and hasn't helped others defeat the Titans yet. He remembers Shikishima's words from earlier and uses the springs to attack them. He struggles at first but manages to make his first kill with a little guidance from Shikishima. However, he loses his balance right after and flies directly into another Titan's mouth. The Titan bites off one of his legs, but Eren manages to save himself by jumping onto the rooftop. Suddenly, a Titan gets a hold of Armin as he is trying to run away. The others try to save him as the Titan is about to eat the guy. Eren whimpers in pain but doesn't stop trying to help his friend. He drags himself towards the edge of the building and leaps into the monster's mouth, holding it open. Armin is about to slide into the monster's throat, but is saved. However, Eren drops into the Titan's stomach in the process. There he lies, in between several dead bodies, one of them being Hina. Meanwhile, Mikasa and the others are on a rooftop where Armin tells her about Eren's death. Mikasa fails to hide her emotions and is visibly sad to have heard the news. Furious, she launches at the Titans and kills every single one of them. However, her fuel runs out midway, making her fall to the ground. The Titan who ate Eren earlier approaches Mikasa and is ready to kill her. But suddenly, a hand emerges out of the creature's mouth. Soon, his body blows up, revealing another Titan inside of him. The newly formed Titan fights his own kind and kills them one by one. The surviving soldiers watch in awe as they realize the new Titan is actually Eren. After killing everyone, the Titan approaches the building aggressively. Eren seems to have forgotten who he is and is killing everyone in sight. The soldiers retreat in fear, except for Mikasa, who calls Eren's name. But he doesn't stop, and he grabs her. While looking at her, he slowly gains his memory back and begins to recognize Mikasa. He then falls dead to the ground and starts to evaporate like the other titans. Mikasa slices his weak spot open, and the human Eren emerges from the creature. To everyone's surprise, he has grown his leg back with the help of the creature's regeneration powers. The last titan finally evaporates, and Eren slowly gains consciousness. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and make sure to watch the anime series Attack on Titan, which is way better than this terrible movie. Oh, and leave a like to help the channel out.